So I was reading Bulbapedia, as you do. And at the same time, I recently got super fascinated with the whole idea that Game Freak decided to make two more Reggies, even though they have a trio and its creator. Like, that's pretty solid. I don't see why you'd need more Reggies. Okay. Mm. Why, though? I mean, personally, I don't have a problem with the new gang members, but I can imagine there's a number of people who wouldn't be happy with the disruption of a perfectly good trio. Actually, hold on a sec. Let me just check. Seems about right. Well, in any case, my concern today is not Reggie Drago and Reggie Alecki's perhaps controversial existence, for the most part. You read the title. I want to do like Game Freak. I want to make my own Reggies. What I'm really aiming for with this is to emulate the true essence of what makes a legendary titan. The original trio by themselves have some rich history and design origins, and I think that's very cool. I am going to give you a few examples right now, and I am going to base most of the following information off of what I read on Bulbapedia. So, if there's any poker fans in the audience today, I'd like to make this clear. Reggie Rock, Reggie... Uh, how do you pronounce that again? <laughs> Wait, how do you pronounce it again? Oh no, I've forgotten. Oh no, how do you pronounce the red, the ice Reggie? Reggie Ice. I don't like that at all. Reggie Ice. No. If you found this video helpful, no. please like no. and subscribe below. Thank you. No. I'm just gonna call him Reg Ice. I'm just, okay, well. The three legendary titans were all created by Regigigas after he pulled the continents together or something wicked rad like that. And get this, he took an icy mountain, a bunch of rocks, and literal magma underneath the surface of the earth to form Regice, Regirock, and Registeel. He formed Regieleki out of pure electricity and Regidrago out of pure crystallized dragon energy like how do you do that? I'd also like to mention that Regigigas and the trio are all weak to the fighting type, which is nice and thematic, until the two newbies came along and decided to break trends. I'm gonna ignore the whole potential that the dots on their faces all mean something specific to each Reggie because I can't find a consistent or fleshed out explanation as to why the dots are arranged the way they are. Our Reggie's dots will be arranged to my liking, but of course we'll continue the fact that they always have seven dots each. As well as being a very good sculptor, Regigigas is also a fan of human history, because the Regis also are based on the historical epochs. What are the historical epochs, you ask? Well, I'm new to this too, I learned this like today ago. But as far as I know how to put it, the historical epochs are the different major periods in human history, particularly the technology periods in the case of the Regis. For example, Regice is based on the Ice Age, easy enough. Regirock is based on the Stone Age, and Registeel is based on the Iron Age. That seems right. Aw, no love for the Bronze Age. Regigigas isn't based on any technology age, I'm guessing that's because he's been here since the dawn of time. But likewise, Regidrago is based off the Middle Ages, probably due to people in the Middle Ages having some weird infatuation with dragons. Regieleki is based on the Modern Age. Yeah, that's just what Bulbapedia says. It's kind of ambiguous, but we who do live in the modern age use electricity all the time. Uh, it at least makes sense. So I'm going to capitalize on the historical epochs idea in particular, because that one's the most fascinating to me. Uh, I won't focus too much on the in-game backstory, since the given backstory of the already existing titans is that they're made out of things Regigigas found. It shouldn't need to be too complex. Regigigas finds a thing, he gets an aha moment, uh, bada bing, bada boom, legendary titan. Well, I guess I exist now. So back to historical epochs, what others were there besides the ones we already have represented? Let it be known that I actually did reading for this one. I'm particularly interested in the industrial age, which is characterized by the 18th century's increase in swapping out manual labor in goods production for autonomous machinery. Although when I say machinery, I don't mean I mean more classical inventions. Things like this. This is the power loom, and it is solely responsible for the revolution of textiles production in the 18th century. Another example is the good old steam engine, which the people of that time period basically started to put in everything. Uh, don't at me on that. According to Wikipedia, the Industrial Age began in the 1760s on the account of increasing coal mining in Great Britain. Makes sense. 
Perhaps due to both this and the nature of steam engines, we could give the Reggie representing this age the fire type. It made the most sense to me, even though it's a bit of a stretch. I'm trying to stick with the Reggie theme of having a single type and none of the other Reggie's types. So let's make Reggie Blaze. Do you like the name I thought of? It's tied to the idea of coal blazing in the furnace of a steam engine or something. I think it's a lot better than the first name I had. Reggie Ember. A little weak if you ask me. Although I did have the idea of Reggie Blaze being smaller than all the other Titans, since with the introduction of Reggie Alecki, they can be smaller. Reggie Ember would have been based off the embers left by coals in a furnace. But we want legendary Pokemon to sound cool, so Reggie Blaze it is. I'm not in any way an artist, so I'm just going for a rough design with this drawing. I'm gonna try to base its design off of a furnace, coal, and steam more than fire alone. And here's my original character. Reggie Blaze was formed from the embers and flames produced after Reggie Gigas created Reggie Steel, deciding to keep those embers and flames. The Pokemon equivalent of the people of the industrial age initially harnessed Reggie Blaze's intense heat to power their machines and greatly revolutionized their society, but cast it out and locked it away when they advanced so far they no longer needed it. Because apparently you aren't a legendary titan if you're not locked away in some tomb for 10,000 years. Let's make one more titan because we'll make this an additional duo like Reggie Drago and Reggie Alecki. And as part of the original idea I had, my duo will be even smaller. So with Reggie Blaze small enough as it is, what better complement to the embodiment of the industrial age than the embodiment of this age, the information age. And from the title alone, it just makes sense to give this Reggie the psychic typing. Fire and psychic, two of my favorite Pokemon types. So what's the information age all about? Well, it's said to be the direct successor of the industrial age, and it spans from the mid 20th century to the present day. We're all quite familiar with it. It's also called the Digital Age or the Computer Age, and it's characterized by the development of information technology. So, keeping with the small Reggie's theme, I'm gonna make this Reggie an electronic computer chip. I conceptualized both Reggie Blaze and this one at the same time while I was thinking of ideas, so the pairing all came together quite nicely, I feel. I just gotta think of a name for this one, because what string of prefixes and word parts convey us that this Pokemon is not only the representation of the Information Age, but also the king of information. I think Reggie Mind is a good contender, and the mind is the storehouse for information. The word mind also links the psychic type and the idea of information quite well, and I'm really depending on that link right now. So what's a good backstory for Reggie Mind? Maybe it's just a manifestation of the collective intellects of all the Reggies combined, uh, save for Reggie Blaze because they came as a package deal. Reggie Mind is less than physical as a result, but its psychic power is unmatched able to communicate using language and telepathy, which isn't seen in the other titans. As it is a titan, it was indeed laid dormant in a tomb for some years due to its fearsome abilities. It's super fun to imagine your own Pokemon as a fan of the franchise. I watched this YouTuber called TrueGreen7, and his philosophy on Pokemon design is really very amazing, and great, and I recommend you check out his videos. Because if you enjoyed this video, then his content is mostly just this video, but leagues better. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a comment as to what sort of related content I should make next. I really enjoyed making this, and uh, I'd really like to expand content to more of this in the future. Uh, I really do love the Pokemon franchise, and yeah. <laughs> okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, see ya.